So as a continuation from our previous exam, uh, this time we are given uh, 1.3 of our questions. Simplify the following completely, meaning to say uh, simplify the following fully. We are given the first part of our question, which is 1.31, that is x minus 1 into x squared uh, plus x plus 1 like this. What is it that you're supposed to simplify? Definitely, it is the expansion of brackets. You're supposed to expand your brackets. But if you actually do understand, if you do understand your factorization, remember when you dealt with the uh, difference of two cubes, sum of two cubes, all right? When you've got the part of the difference of uh, two cubes, if you understand this, guys, you're not going to have a lot of uh, work because you understand that x cubed minus y cubed was being taken from uh, x minus y into x squared plus xy plus y squared like this. Remember, I talked about this. And this is the same presentation that we are seeing here. Same presentation, x minus one, which means x minus y. What represents our x part is this x. What represents the y, the y cubed is this one. So it was simply taken from x cubed minus one cubed. And what is x cubed minus one cubed? It is x cubed minus one, one to the exponent of three. Still, it is one. If you know where it was taken from, you can simply write the answer, x cubed minus one like this, you obtain the two marks. All right, but let's say I do not understand this difference of two cubes that it was actually taken from x cubed minus one. What are we going to do? Only uh, way remaining is to expand the brackets. Using the first bracket of x minus one, you're supposed to expand everything in the second bracket. That is to multiply everything that you are given in the second bracket by x and also minus y. So let's start with x. So that will be x times x squared, which is x to the exponent of three. You move on to x and x. This is going to give us x. Remember, another x and x, there are two of them. So that will be x squared. Then we move on to x times this one. That is going to give us a positive x. Okay, x times one, simply x. You are done with x. You move on to the next term, which is minus one, as it is here, minus one. So that's minus one times x squared, which is minus x squared, positive and negative. That's a negative, all right? Then minus one multiplies the next term up to the last one. So it's minus one times x, which is minus x. Then minus one to the last term there, minus one and plus one. Minus and a plus, that's a minus. So it's going to be negative one. This is where you are at brackets. But consider also that you've got uh, the like terms where we have got uh, x squared. And this minus x squared, as you can see, these two will cancel. x and minus x will also cancel. They're the same. One is a positive, one is a negative. There. So they'll cancel x squared and this x and minus x. So you're left with what? That's x cubed minus one, just like that. You can actually expand the given brackets. One bracket multiplies everything in the other bracket. So as you can see, you are still obtaining the same answer as the one that we got from the knowledge of the factorization of uh, the difference of two cubes, where it was taken from. We managed to write the answer from there. It is up to you. 1.3 to simplify. What exactly are we supposed to do with given fractions? This is subtraction, addition at the same time. All right, so let's consider this. We've got x plus 7 everything over x squared uh, minus x minus 6. Then you've got a subtraction. That's minus 3 over x minus 3, 2x plus what? 2x plus 4. So the best thing, uh, depending on the method, guys, that you're going to work with, but whatever method that you do or that you're going to have, it is best that you do factorize the denominators wherever there's something that is common. Make sure that you do factorize. All right, a fraction in the denominator. All right, so let us just, if this is going to be x plus 7, efficient of x squared, it's a quadratic expression, this one, 
but the coefficient of x squared is what? Is one. So we know that it's an easier factorization. This one we're going to put, we figure out these, this constant, which is minus six. Do we have products of minus six? But when we add these, we are going to obtain minus one, which is the coefficient of x. So we need two numbers. You multiply two numbers, you get minus six. You add the two numbers, you get minus one. Which numbers? Minus three and two? Or is it three and minus two? Yes, if you multiply here, we get D and C. So if we add here, this is for minus three and what? And two. So it is going to be, uh, we said minus three and what? And two. So that's minus three. Another one is two. So just write as plus two. So this is it. We move on to the other term uh, where there's nothing common. All right. Sorry for that. There's nothing uh, to be factored out in the denominator there. There's nothing common. So just rewrite. So it's going to be minus three over the denominator as it is, which is X minus three. Then we move on to this one is common there. Between these two terms, we can see the 2x and the 4. So we can factor out the 2. So this was going to be 2x and 2, that's x. Uh, 4 divided by 2, that's a 2 like this. All right. So this is what we have. So before we move on to the simplification, remember your simplification where you're supposed to consider uh, the LCM or the LCD of the given denominators. You can even reduce because the factorization there allows us to reduce on a single fraction like this, if there is anything common, if these two are the same, divide. If there is anything, any bracket. Here we do not have, here we do not have, but look at the last part. There is a two here, there is a two here, so we can cancel. So it's going to be one over two X, uh, one over two plus X. So we are going to remain with something like this. This whole part, uh, nothing is going to change. So that's X plus seven over X minus three into x plus 2, like this, minus this part, just as it is. That's x minus 3. And remember, you cancel the 2 and the 2, so this is 1 over uh, 1 times x plus 2. 1 times n number, remember, it remains as it is. So that's 1 over x plus 2. This is where you are. Now you can consider the LCD. If there's anything common, guys, cancel if there's anything common. So here we can consider to say what is the LCD or the LCM of the denominators there is x minus 3. We also have x minus 3. We are supposed to have that one. It is to be written once. There is x plus 2 here. We also have x plus 2 here. So it's supposed to be also uh, consider the x plus 2 that we are seeing. It's a common term also. Remember, you cancel the 2 already. So this is what we have. Now, in this case, we are going to simplify, divide the LCD to the given denominator. Just assume as you, you are dividing this to this. So it was, it was going to cancel. Meaning to say you're going to remain with one. Like I said, you imagine as if you are can the numerator as it was given uh, before, right? So it's going to be one into x uh, plus seven. We move on. Our LCD divided to the denominator cancel. It was going to cancel. Meaning to say x plus two was remaining to be multiplied with three. But do not cancel. Just assume as if you are canceling. So it's minus three into these two. We're going to cancel. All right, sorry, let me just do this. So it was because the x minus 3, x minus 3 was definitely going to cancel. Plus the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 here was going to cancel, meaning to say remain with x minus 3, which is to be multiplied with, this, with the one uh, that we have on the numerator. So meaning to say this is going to be plus 1 into x minus 3, just like that. So the expansion, uh, I mean, the simplification there was very, very crucial. Division, divide, then you multiply to the numerator, you divide, then multiply to the numerator. Now we can expand our brackets uh, before you collect the like terms. So one is going to expand this bracket. It's going to be multiplied by one. This bracket by minus three, uh, the, uh, by x plus, by minus three, and also this one uh, by plus one. So let us have our simplification. One times x here, yeah, that's x uh, times seven. So minus three x, minus three and two, that's minus six. One and x, this three, that's a minus three, all right? Everything over the given brackets as they were. x minus three into x plus two. All right, so let's figure out in the numerator uh, for those like terms. In this case, you are forced to collect all the like terms. So this is one x, this is also one x. Uh, so if you are to consider the like terms here, uh, just consider this part of x minus uh, 3x, and this is plus uh, x. So let's just consider this. What are you going to have? 1 plus 1, which is 2, minus 3, which is minus. So it's going to be negative. So that's minus x 
Then for the numbers, you simplify, do the same seven minus six, uh, which is one, then one minus three, which is minus two. So it is going to be like this, uh, minus X minus two, everything over the given denominator here, remember? This common denominator that we had, which is your LCM. You will have to write it again as it into X plus two. So never be tempted to leave your answer at this stage. Figure out, is there anything common I talk about in the numerator and denominator? Can it be factorized? The numerator here can be factorized. A negative is common between these two terms. You can factor out a negative. A negative can be factored out. Negative divided by negative, that's a positive. Negative two divided by negative, that's a positive two. So meaning to say a negative can be factored out. Divide it back. Minus X and minus, that's positive X. Minus two and minus, that's a positive two. Everything over what? We're having already in the denominator. X minus three into X plus two. Just like this. So with these guys, as long it is common between the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel. As long as the same. X plus two, X plus two. So you cancel. That's a one. That's a one. So meaning to say, guys, what are you going to have at the end? Uh, one. Uh, that is negative times one is simply negative one, guys. All right. Then X plus three times one is going to be X minus three. This is what you're going to have at the end. So actually, questions can be of that nature. They want you to figure out uh, at the end. Do not just write your answer and say, I'm done. No, you're done. Check, recheck your calculations. Those calculations or subtraction, like what you saw, you can have it under multiplication and division. So you just have to, while it's your prepared of time.